Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we will be creating group policy to add single sign-on specific URLs so that the users can use the single sign-on. So if you just go to this article, um, you need to add those specific uh, given four different URLs into trusted URLs or intranet uh, specific one. So with the value as a one. So what I'm going to do is I'll just open up my group policy management console now uh, and uh, I would like to create a new complete policy and I would like to configure. So I'll just go to group policy objects and I'll name as GPO uh, for SSO or oh, just the non-standard so I'll just give as something like um, SSO but you know later point you can change it uh, it specifically applies to user so that you can give the user specific as the standard name also so if you just look at uh, in this uh, I need to you know, go to the user configuration and Windows component and Internet Explorer Internet Control Panel under security site to June assignment list so this is where I need to enable and add all those four different URLs so let me open up my notepad or uh, I just have to give as a value as a one um, apply OK and also I have uh, added another four different URLs which are mostly used uh, in our um, Azure Active Directory environment like SSO specific um, so I just wanted to give these uh, URLs also so I'll just enter uh, with the value as a one if you see the one means intranet zone so it considers the intranet uh, that means if you try to open these um, URLs for example portal as you.com or my apps uh, application also uh, you would uh, not get a prompt to enter your username because the uh, already a token which is already available on your machine so I'll just apply OK and uh, I'll just close this and now it's time for me to you know link this specific GPU so I would like to link for my all users uh, maybe under yours they have uh, US they have multiple sites so I'll just you know link here uh, by drag and drop or you know right click and link it so the way you want it, you can do it uh, like I wanted to configure for users so it's entire OS are already applied so in the next log on or log off the users will be getting that specific uh, policy Thank you for watching this. I hope this is useful. Do check other Azure Active Directory specific videos uh, because this is in continuation of that. Thank you.